Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitu fillah A very important question was asked From one of our beloved For the, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And they said as you may or may not be aware, there's been going around a social media trend, Punish a Muslim Day, whereby a group of extremist, radicalized fools have sent letters around planning to bring harm and destruction to the Muslims of the West, especially in the UK, on the 3rd of April, 2018. Many incidents have arisen in the name of this event in the last few days. I've seen a video of my Muslim sister being in a state uh, on the floor in pain due to a car crash probably influenced by this holiday. Also another video again of my Muslim sister literally just standing at a reception desk having a huge white man grab her and punch her literally to the ground. They, they're they beating and harming my sisters and your sisters in Islam. I've seen many responses from the Muslims in the West. Some responses have great have been great fear and upset. Some making it into a comedy aimed at uh, the kuffar, others proposing a punishment, uh, punishing a non-Muslim day. Others calling to, poli uh, to politicals and some calling to staying at home, not going to work, school, being vigilant. As you can see, there's been many different types of responses, but as a teenager trying to follow the Quran and Sunnah, I would, uh, I will not be pleased with any of these responses until I hear uh, what Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will command us to do uh, uh, etc. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all the Muslims, protect all the Muslims, and let us be a source of guidance for others and other communities. First and foremost, in general, in the West, and being Muslim minorities, and in fact minorities anywhere, uh, there tends to be a need for vigilance. But in this um, environment of Islamophobia where people are attacking Muslims and actually making days uh, to be vigilant and make uh, an effort at harming Muslims uh, then it's very important for us to be vigilant so it's not that all those answers were based on falsehood no but it's very important that our approach is consistent and by being consistent, one of the things, unfortunately, what you find in many of these inc incidents uh, in the West is since many of those people acting are acting out of fear and hatred, and it's a cycle that they oppress and harm those people most vulnerable which tends to be who? It tends to be the women. It tends to be the sisters. The sisters are often wearing hijab and they are more vulnerable and an easier target. So you see the cowardice because it amazes me that a grown man or even a teenage boy, but you can see the ignorance of a teenager, but grown men, how they would prey upon and terrorize women, it, it goes beyond my capacity to think but it's I guess it is a, a the logical means for a coward because many of the brothers that I know they would not be prey to that and so one thing I will say as a cons consistent approach number one uh, for dealing with these things is as women be vigilant and do not always be out as the Prophet as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded, and as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has commanded, that you shouldn't be just out in, in, involved in, in so much in the society and being out there if it's not necessary. That the husbands and the fathers are responsible for their daughters, and you should know where your daughter is, and you should not allow her just to run around the street, especially in a volatile environment. That's number one. Number two is I believe it is imperative uh, and from reality and experience 
that our brothers and our sisters need to be able to defend themselves. And in the UK, because you guys have uh, very stringent gun laws, alhamdulillah, which is a good thing, and you see the difference between us in America and the UK or Canada and other places, in many places in the world, America is one of the most violent societies, this is just the reality. Uh, and we have mass shootings and all kind of other problems because guns are just available. So what I will say is learn, I do firmly believe, and I believe this for the women too, to be, to learn how to defend yourself. There needs to be classes and courses for women to know some basic martial arts that are there for defending themselves in those situations. That's number one. Number two, our men need to quit being cowards. And, you know, we've seen the many incidences that's been publicized over the YouTube where brothers are around and the sisters are getting harassed and harmed. And one thing I will say, America is different. And especially around uh, indigenous Muslims, and what I mean indigenous, those who were born and raised in, a Mus in, in, in America uh, who converted to Islam. Our experience is different because most of those other communities came to us for protection. This is the way it's always been in many places. When our brothers from Pakistan and Somalia and stuff, when we all have an Eid gathering, they want brothers to come to uh, make security because brothers have experience in those things and brothers defend themselves. We have a tradition of having to, pr to, to protect ourselves. So it's very important for the men and the women to be able to protect themselves. In the context of America, I'm not calling for any violence at all. But what I am saying is brothers in all the Masajid, there should be brothers who, because in America we have the right to bear arms, it is our constitutional right. I firmly believe in uh, uh, exercising my constitutional right. Brothers need to have, there needs to be at least some brothers in all the Masajid who are legal and authorized and who uh, to carry and know how to use it. And, and know in practice. I 100% believe that and I practice that, by the way, as you may have seen in one of my videos. So the point is, uh, those are some of the ways is that we cannot, that it has to be consistent. It should be consistent. That these are issues that as far as what Allah and his messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in general, this is one of the reasons why the scholars encourage and some of the scholars say it's an obligation, according to the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, to try to make hijrah, to try to leave. But the reality is, in, in, in the situation now, in contemporary times, it differs drastically. And even the, these are very complex issues, which I'm not going to get into as far as the hijrah and speaking about it. But the complexities of it is not at all like the past. But having Nia and striving is always consistent, is, it should always be the case if someone wants to make hijra to uh, a Muslim land and live uh, in, a, in a Muslim country. However, for the many that will not do that, and that it is their country, I'm from America, I don't have a passport anywhere, I will be going back to America, that's my country, and no one's going to run me off, bi'idnillah, uh, that you should be vigilant. And this is why the need for being consistent, that these things should not be about running from a particular day, that we need to have consistent practices, and the masjid should have safe practices, masjid should have cameras, masjid should have security, they should have means for protecting the community. As the churches are beginning to find out too, where in America we had one of those uh, uh, white national uh, extremists come in, and he's come in and killed uh, the African Americans in the church coming and just shooting up the people for no reason, shooting up women, any, any kind of thing, just cowards. And this is what you find from these people, they're cowards. Because the few that try to step to the brothers, they always get knocked out. And I'm just, I'm not trying to be any other way, but this is how the brothers that I know, that how they deal with this. We're not going for that. So they're not going to step to us. They might chicken call from a, a distance, but when they come to mess with our wives and our daughters and stuff, they know they better, they, 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 they better have not come to play because we're not playing. And so it's very important to not take just a weak and cowardice posture that brothers need to be in shape. 
and they need to know how to defend themselves and uh, and all those various means. So that that is all I can offer for advice in general, that we are a people of peace and we are a people of stability, but we do believe in defending ourselves and protecting our community. And that that is from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, learning those skills. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged wrestling. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged racing. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged archery. So uh, it's important to have certain skills to be able to protect your family. That's just a simple human uh, right uh, to exercise. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us, preserve us, and bless us to be a source of guidance for humanity to show the people the light and the beauty of Islam and the strength of Islam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.